Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Airbrushing for the Beginner. And we are looking at paint today. I'm going to give you a basic mixing sort of lesson in paint. Not colour mixing, we're just going to mix some standard colours on some real cheap budget paints guys. And this is just to get you started, so if you want to practice on a piece of paper at home, you don't have to go out and buy the airbrush paints. We can mix these acrylics down with water or flow improver and get them to spray through your airbrush. So they're perfect for the beginner if you want to get a bit of practice in before you start spending your money on your airbrush paints because they will come out a lot dearer than your standard budget range of paint. So it's good to get some practice in on the cheaper paints before you start moving on to your crash helmets, your bike tanks and things like that and start doing artwork for people. Then you can move on to, to your more specialist sort of paints to put through your airbrush. So the ones that I've got and I've chose, I've just picked a few up. We've got one from Hobbycraft. Now this is a black acrylic paint, 60 milliliter. And this was £1.60. So we're going to thin this one down and give that one a blast through the airbrush. We'll see how all these paints perform through the Eclipse. We'll do the same PSI running pressure on the paints and we'll just see how they atomize and see how they hold up on a piece of paper. Now the paper that I'm using, as this is for a beginner's class, I've basically got some of the it's a roll of paper that you'd get in B&M, Wilco's. It's in like the craft and art section and it's just a thin, it's an 80 gram paper. You can also use wallpaper backing paper because you can get that in the 50 meter rolls for about three pounds. That's perfect for practicing on because you can just roll a piece off like I have there, stick it to an easel and you can get practicing with your brush. So we're not using any fancy paper on this. It's just a standard, white paper. So we've got the Hobbycraft paint. We've got one in a tube. This one is about £2.50 and this again you can get from Hobbycraft. So that's that one. We've got Crafter's Choice. You can get this from the works uh, in your local towns. This is a pound for that, that size jar. These are 59 millilitres this one. So we've got that one. We've got a Wilkinson's acrylic paint. So we've got that one. And we've got another Crafter's Choice one, but a different color. So we've got that one as well. We've also got some Flow Improver for acrylic paint. We're gonna try some of that in there, see what that does. And we've, made, and we've got some standard, I've got distilled water, not your normal tap water, I use the Big five litres by that of this distilled water and use that when I'm mixing acrylics. So we've got water. This side we've got some actual airbrush paint. We've got some golden high flow opaque. We've got a transparent. I've got an ink that I can show you. And then I've also got a nice little pre-mix in here and we'll have a little blast of this later on. And then you'll be surprised what this actually is. So that's for later guys. So what I do is I've got a sloped panel here bit of aluminium and then you'll see the paint. What I do is I'll drop some droplets of paint on and you'll see how thick the consistency is on these paints when they run off and you'll just see how they flow off this panel and you'll get an idea of an actual airbrush paint, which is this one. So this is an opaque airbrush paint. I'll drop a dot on here, couple of dots, drops, and that's how thin that paint is on an opaque. So that's running out and that will spray directly through an airbrush because that is a high flow acrylic by Golden for the airbrush. And we've got a transparent, so I'll do two drops again. And that one's running out a little bit faster as that is a thinner paint. We've got an ink, so I'll just drop a little bit of the ink on there and this one will flow out, this is really thin. As you can see, that's flowing out really quick. So they will go directly into your airbrush. They are airbrush paints and made for an airbrush. 
you can use these with brushes and they are labeled up for airbrush as well it's got a little icon on the side there that's picking that up you can see you've got paintbrush pen airbrush so that's how they will flow out that's the sort of consistency you're aiming for with these paints and these are all thicker guys these ones so these are the ones we've got to thin so we're going to start with the hobbycraft and i will just put a drop on here and that's how thick that paint is that is not moving anywhere that's just a blob of paint just staying there so we've got to thin that down so if i put one dot of paint in there and we're going to go for on droplets of water we will put in two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's ten droplets of water up to that we'll give that a mix And I'm going to go for another two more in that. Give that a mix up and we'll just see how well that one runs off. So that's better. So that was like a blob of paint, which is the size of that, to 12 drops of water. And that will spray it, that guy's out. That's running out now. That's similar to the opaque golden as that was running down so that consistency on that hobbycraft black is done not a problem so if you want to test your paint just grab yourself a board put it on a slope and just see how the paint runs off you're aiming for something that runs i mean we could get a you could time that from the droplets there you could time to where it was there Put a timer in and you can do it that way a bit more scientific and then your net you could try one and then just time it and if you get the correct time that the actual airbrush paint is flowing out to at the bottom you know you've got your consistency right but you can see just on how that's running we're about there so what we'll do is we'll mix the next one up which will be this one we'll try this same again i'll just drop you a bit on there and as you can see, that's not moving. So a drop in the in the bottom of that. Same again, chuck some water in. Gone for a bit more water in this one. We'll give that a mix. And this one really is a thick paint. See what that one's running out like. That's not budging. There you go. So yeah, that consistency there, that would be absolutely fine. That's running to about the same sort of, I'd say speed as the transparent. I have got warm air blowing across here. So it is probably drying this paint out on this panel quite quick because there's heat hitting the back of that aluminium board so it's drying the paint that's why they've stopped running so that i would say the blue's mixed because that's running out okay so that's that one let's try the red crafters just open that up a bit and again, that's really, really thick, as you can see. A little bit of water again. As I say, if you put too much water in, just add a little bit more paint in. I 
And now I've got some of these paints actually pre-mixed in like these sort of bottles and they've been absolutely fine, mixed with water. They've held, I've had them in there for, I've had some that have been mixed for years and they're still fine, quick shake of the bottle and they've been absolutely fine, sprayed fine. So I know these paints here work. So this is the red. So that's the red one running out. That's, that's a good consistency again. So that one would be fine. So we've got the red. Now we'll mix up the Wilco's. And as you can see, another thick paint. That's not going anywhere on that. So in all these, you're dropping near enough the same amount of water And I wouldn't advise getting one of the whisk mixes because you can put too much air in the paint when you do that. I've just got some of the wooden sticks and just give them a mix with that. You don't want to be whisking the paint up because you can froth it up when you put a lot of air in your actual paint. This one is quite thin. So the consistency on that, that's more like a transparent. So we've got four paints mixed up, different brands. And what we'll do is we'll get the airbrush set up and I'll drop these paints in. And we'll just see how these paints atomize and give you a little run through of that. So I'll see you in the next step. Right, we've got the easel set up. And we're going to try the Hobbycraft, the black Hobbycraft that we mixed. So we'll drop that in the airbrush. Drop a little bit in there. And we're running about 25 psi on the main line. I'll just move that camera in. We'll do a little section up here. And that is atomizing really, really well. As you can see, at that consistency that we mix the Hobbycraft up, that's atomizing really nice, soft on the out. So the mix on the Hobbycraft one is absolutely spot on and that airbrush is absolutely fine, guys. At that pressure, we could probably knock that pressure down a bit. Yeah. So the Hobbycraft has passed the test. You can thin it nice and easy with water. And that's the, that's this one. We're gonna now move on to this one. So that's the next test, which is this one. And that is quite, it's about the same. I've got these to near enough all the same consistency on the mix, as you've seen on that board where we've done the little drips down the front of it. So they're all about the same. Well, this is 25 PSI again. And this one's a thin up at 25, might have not that pressure in. But it's spraying absolutely fine for practicing with guys, this one. This paint's a little bit dearer at two pound fifty. I mean, it's still cheap. Little bit, you can hear it just. This one was the thickest paint out of all of them. So yeah, get your consistency right. This is just starting to spit. So not as good as the Hobbycraft. The thing you can hear that you can see it spitting away. 
So you need to get that a real good mix. The pigment in that, when I was mixing it, you could see the paint break up into chunks. You can hear the brush struggling to get it out. Crank the pressure up. We'll flush that through. So the blue one, at the similar sort of consistency, wasn't as good. Give that a thorough clean through the water. Right, we'll try the the next one, which is the Crafter's Choice at a pound. See what this one's like. This one's really thin. That's more like a transparent sprayable, but very, very thin. It's really knocked the uh, colour of the paint out. So if you were to use the Crafter's Choice, yes, you can spray it, but you'll be doing very light work. You'll be knocking the pressure down. But it does spray, so it would work as a beginner's paint, guys. Not a problem. As you can see, knock that pressure down. That's probably about 15 psi, and it's spraying, it's atomizing that. As I thin this down, it is like a real thin, transparent. You could probably go a little bit thicker on this paint mix. But it's doing it. It's going through the airbrush. So that one's the crafter's choice. That works. For something just to have a play with on a panel. Right, we've got the Wilco's one next. The pink one. This one does look really thin. We'll give it a go. Pull that through. Again, as you can see, it looks really, really transparent. And if you were to build it up heavy, you'll start to run it, you see? So it's like very light, pressure down. And again, you can paint with it. You can build the layers up nice and slow. You just gotta get your paint mix really right. Just a little bit more air pressure and get your trigger right. It will flow through. A little bit spiffy. You'll find with these paints that are thick in tubes, the body of the paint's really dense and when you mix it, it's like you really could do with straining it like you would your automotive paints where you always put them through a strainer because some of them, there could be big, big chunky bits in there. But just give it a really good mix. I would probably mix these in some bottles like this. A couple of ball bearings in the bottom and just give them a mix up that way. Don't over shake them, but just mix them up that way so it gets it all the paint broke down and mixed in well with that water and I think you'll be absolutely fine. But they all spray. I was really surprised with the Hobbycraft one. That sprays how golden artist acrylics spray. It's drying exactly the same. That dried down really quick and the atomization on that is really, really good. So I would recommend the Hobbycraft one I really would, they do a full range of that. And this was just on a whim today, I just popped in there and I thought, I'll pick that up. And that, as you can see there, really, really good atomization on that. That's the best one out of all of them, is that one. So what I do now is I'll chuck some of the 
mix that I've got here that I said that something that you can use we'll give it a go see what it's like this will be very thin so it's going to be a case of dropping the pressure right down for this now as you can you see that there is that camera picking that up that's spraying really really nice probably got a little bit of that paint So that's spraying nice. Probably a little bit of that paint on them other paints going through, but there you go. Very thin, very nice aroma from this one. This is actually coffee. I've mixed two spoons of coffee in the hot water, the granuled coffee, so this is Kenko. <laughs> dispensed it into one of these and you can use that guys for practicing with and it sprays really nice and you get a really nice smell so you're getting a nice coffee smell it does spray so you don't have to use paint if you want to practice you can mix some coffee up drop a bit of water in warm water so it dissolves and you can practice with coffee and it does, it's a very nice transparent so when you're working you can build it it'll get darker and darker and darker you can use food coloring so it doesn't have to be paint you can practice with something that's usually always in your kitchen everyone's usually got a jar of coffee and it works guys as you can see let's just clean that brush out because I think there's a bit of because I've chucked all them paints through it So yeah, back in with the coffee. And it's absolutely fine. So I bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> but you can use it. And you get a nice smell of coffee coming off. And that will dry down absolutely fine not a problem as you can see there that's dried down so you're getting that nice very nice transparent look so if you're doing like a monochromatic type portrait you could do it in coffee and you'd get a really cool color and then you get that nice fragrance off it as well so that can be used so i hope you've enjoyed this beginner's guide into paint on mixing and like i say you don't have to have you don't have to start off with airbrush paints spending 40 50 60 pound on airbrush kits of paint um, you can go in and you can buy the cheap paints mix them down get them get the water-based acrylics thin them down like i just did there this is really kicking up that coffee is really strong now mix them down water-based to a nice consistency you've seen on that panel where I ran it off. If you can get it down to like a semi skim milk consistency, you'll be good to go. And then you'll just be dialing in your air pressure, get your air pressure right. You'll see if it's too thin, you'll get this, and it will, when you spray it, you'll get spider webbing. So if it's really thin, just knock your pressure back until you get it so it's misting like that and like that. But that, out of these paints, the Hobbycraft one performed the best. And at £1.60 a bottle. And you have to thin that down. So you're getting, if you were to mix this with, with, with water and you went, 
that amount of paint and then emptied that and then done that amount of water I reckon you'd have a perfect mix because we only put a bit of paint in with that it was like sort of one to one mix on that but that atomizes the best out of these paints that we've used that atomizes in my eyes like golden high flow acrylics exactly the same it's atomized really soft on them dots so that's a good paint guys it really is and that's dried down nice I will do some more tests on that I'm going to start I will get a few more of these and we'll do a project on the Hobbycraft paint we'll do a little portrait or something get some of the other colors and we'll do some mixing with that so I hope you enjoyed this video like I say you don't have to have paint you can throw coffee at a piece of paper and it it works in the airbrush guys so I'll see you in the next one and I'll the next video on this will be spraying so it'll be a bit of what we're doing now but I'll run through some little test pieces with you so you can get to grip to your airbrush with some of these paints we'll use these paints I'll get some mixed up for the next episode and I'll take you through some dagger strokes and some basic techniques that you can practice with your paints at home and get to grip for your brush. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.